Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Parth Sharma, and this is my PO212 vlog, in which I'll be speaking on my personal insight and perspective upon the topic of Quebec's Bill 21. So let's get right into it. To begin, I'm going to provide you guys with some contextual information upon the issue. Bill 21 is a secularist bill that was implemented within Qu the Quebec Constitution in 2019 that prohibits public servants, including teachers, crown prosecutors, etc., from wearing religious <clears throat> symbols and clothing at their workplaces. This bill presents significant barriers to social integration for the civilian demographic of religiously diverse students and residents that consist within the Quebec population, such as individuals within the Muslim community or Sikh community that are required to wear specific clothing, such as turbans and burqas, to maintain their religious identity. Canada is labeled and perceived as one of the most, the world's most multicultural assimilative countries, although instances such as this constantly remind us that the concept of racial discrimination is very well present within current Canadian society. Their reluctancy to prioritize religious diversity and cultural integration highlights their consistent and congruent nature of Quebec in relation to federal Canadian law. Their political agenda is strictly developed to satisfy their secularist needs. Although the implementation of Bill 21 in November 2019 was an unlawful act due to the fact that Bill 21 is a direct violation of the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. The Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms guarantees every Canadian citizen with the freedom of conscious, conscience and religion and freedom of thought, belief, opinion and expression. Both of these freedoms are in violation of the Charter because Prohibiting individuals from engaging in religious practice and banning the wearing of ethnic clothing that represents religious symbols violates these two freedoms as it harms their ability to religiously, freely religiously express themselves. Within some of our prior lectures in PO2 and 2, our professor, Dr. Lev Martyr, spoke on the four broad categories of minority rights that govern the sense of multicultural order and assimilation within Canadian society. The implementation of Quebec's Bill 21 violates all four categories. Protection of physical existence, protection and promotion of cultural and or social identity, ensuring equality and non-discrimination, and ensuring effective political participation. So firstly, protection and promotion of cultural and or social identity is being directly violated as the implementation of prohibiting items of religious representation and identity does not allow the average individual to pursue and practice religious traditions. Secondly, ensuring equality and non-discrimination is also being directly violated because, it in, because ensuring equality and non-discrimination would entail providing citizens with complete religious freedom to exercise in religious practice and expression to the highest of their personal desires. Although banning ethnic clothing and religious symbols in public is, extremely, is an extremely discriminatory act. Additionally, the notion of ensuring effective political participation is negatively affected because the fraction of the Quebec demographic that consists of civilians of diverse re and religious and cultural identities will refrain from engaging in political participation due to the regime's reluctancy to address problems and implement policy that will present these ethnic communities with benefit. Rather, the Quebec government is acting in opposition as they're implementing policy that further damages the freedom and identity of these individuals. And lastly, the protection of physical existence is a concept that is bound to undergo violation because of the because the anti-religious diversity movement being exercised within Quebec will create stereotypical generalizations and discriminative practices upon diverse foreign religions and cultures within the province, which will potentially lead to extreme extremist discriminative acts against minorities that do not share the same dominant religious beliefs as society. This can be proven evident when looking at the movement of Asian targeted violence that was induced by the emergence of the COVID-19 pandemic as a result of, these, of the fact that these victims simply possessed the same cultural identity as the nation that initiated the pandemic. Therefore, this notion made the Asian community a target for extremists and law and the long term implementation of Bill 21 has the potential to have the same effect effect within Quebec. So to cap it off, I would just like to give a perspective on the harmful effect of the implementation of this bill on Quebec residents that possess diverse ethnic and religious identities from around the world. This movement from 
uh, <clears throat> Quebec of religious discrimination has created a multitude of concerns for foreign citizens across the province as the ratio of international students fleeing from and refraining to apply to a Quebec for their education is increasing as a result of this bill. In addition, the working demographic of religiously diverse residents of Quebec is decreasing as they're reluctant to work and reside within an environment that does not provide them with the religious freedom to express themselves and allow them to practice their religious traditions, even though it is a right that the Charter should guarantee them. Therefore, the current integration of Bill 21 is in Quebec is on course to create societal customs of religious and cultural discrimination and the emergence of stereotypical generalizations that will not allow ethnic communities to successfully integrate within society. That's all for my vlog today. Thank you very much for listening and have a fantastic rest of your day.